welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about circulatory system. This is a system that works to keep the blood moving throughout all parts of the body. And uh, the parts of the circulatory system is number one, we have heart, number two, blood, and number three, blood vessel. So let's discuss them one at a time. The heart, it is the main organ of the circulatory system and it acts like a pump or a, that in supplying the power that keeps the blood moving. And it lies in the center of the chest. It's here, so in this part, between the lungs. Your fist is, that's how big is your heart. So we have here the parts of the heart. I divided our heart into two, the right and the left have there the right atrium and the right ventricle in the left we have there the left atrium and the left ventricle for us to easily memorize and always remember a comes before the v so it means that atrium will go first before the ventricle so that's why we have the upper atrium the lower ventricle up are the valve that uh, connects them between the right atrium and the right ventricle, we have there the tricuspid valve. That valve has three heads. That's why it is called tricuspid valve. Okay. So, don't be confused. Okay, right atrium has, starts with R. And the tricuspid valve has R also in the TRI. So, tri. So, it means it's in the right part. And then we have between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, we have there the uh, pulmonary valve. Between the left atrium and the left ventricle, we have there the bicuspid valve. All that bicuspid valve, the was it's, it has two heads only. And we have also the valve going to our aorta as the aortic valve. Now, what is this two tube going up? Okay, the one with the black lines. Okay. The upper tube is the SVC or the superior vena cava. And the, in, the lower part is the inferior vena cava. Okay. The right atrium, it's the oxygen poor blood that goes in that chamber coming from the different parts of the body via the superior and the uh, inferior vena cava and the right ventricle once the right atrium contracts the oxygen poor blood will flow into the right ventricle it means in pulm uh, pulmonary artery what kind of blood it's oxygen poor blood or unoxygenated blood from the right ventricle is pumped to the lungs through the pulmonary artery and after that there will be an exchange of gases inside the lungs so just i put there and close in parentheses because lungs is not a part of the circulatory system inside the lungs oxygen moves to the blood as carbon dioxide leaves and exchange of gases will happen in the alveoli or alveoli sac there the left atrium okay so oxygen rich blood or oxygenated blood from the lungs will enters the left atrium and it will go so once the left atrium contracts the oxygen rich blood will flows into the left ventricle and up the aorta okay so the blood is pumped to the rest of the body via the aorta and remember that the aorta is the body's widest artery so another part of the circulatory system is the blood and 
it's the movable blood tissue of course it's moving in our body so what's the function of this blood in our body number one they carries gases and other materials number two they are the functions as blood clotting mechanism the function as protection of our bodies from diseases so about them one by one ox gases blood carries oxygen and carbon dioxide hmm. not only the carbon dioxide and the oxygen huh? this is the mainly gases that they are carrying in our body but they carries also other gases aside from oxygen and carbon dioxide both gases bind to a special compound called hemoglobin and the hemoglobin contains iron thus gives the cell their red color that's why our blood is color red because of this hemoglobin this is there is food nutrients and waste okay so both the serum or we call the liquid part of the blood contains all sorts of things that cells need so it's waste product of cells so is the serum leaks out of the blood and moves into the lymph. that's why they could have this uh, proteins and food in different parts of the body and this limb is a pale fluid that surrounds body cells and it removes the cell waste because blood clotting once the blood is exposed to air it forms a dry sticky mass called clot so blood proteins and platelets are responsible for blood clotting Ayan. and the platelets are small pieces of blood cells and they clump together while blood proteins form sticky threads so that's the other function of the blood is fighting invaders it is the white blood cells that fight invaders such as the viruses and bacteria in our body remember our white blood cell or the wbc is our soldiers of the body they are the one that fights against the viruses and bacteria another parts of the circulatory aside from heart and blood we also have the blood vessel so we have they are the tube that carries the blood in our body so the three types of the blood vessels are the arteries the vein and the capillaries going to discuss these three types of blood uh, blood vessel so the arteries carries blood away from the heart so it's easy to remember who carries blood away from the heart it's the artery artery starts with a and away starts with a so a artery a away so our vein carries towards or back to the heart while the capillaries they are the connectors okay remember capillary c and connect c so capillary connects arteries and veins and gases food and waste travel back and forth through the capillary walls okay so they are our as lessons so let's name them so we have their now okay so we have their number one number two number three number four number five so i just to say these are the main parts okay always remember the left and the right part the upper and the lower chamber or the number one it's the Yes, it's the aorta okay number two it's the yes it's the right atrium a come first before the v so the lower is the right ventricle going to the lungs it's the blue one there up it's the pulmonary artery and going back to the heart from the lungs it's the so a first before the b so we're in the, now in the left part so it's the left atrium and the lower part is the left ventricle and will goes out of the body via the aorta okay. and let's have this let's have enumeration what are the three types of the blood vessel the a the v and the c and what are the four function of the blood 
Okay, so let's answer them together. We have, okay, so we have there, the three types of blood is the A, arteries, V, veins, and C, capillaries. For the function, it's, so what are the carries? Carries gas, carries food and nutrients, and proteins and waste, and uh, clotting, and blood clotting, and fight invaders. So you can see C, 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 F. Carries gases, carries food, clotting or blood clotting and fight invaders. So, I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine. This is Teacher saying thank you for watching and God bless everyone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel is Teacher IR. And thank you so much. And kids, always remember to study and always listen to your teacher when your teacher is discussing something so you would learn more and i know it's quite difficult for nowadays to uh, to focus because it's an online classes and always pray pray uh, always pray ask for guidance ask for wisdom coming from god so you will understand more of the lesson and always remember to follow obey and honor your parents that's all and thank you so much. Bye-bye.